so here in cascade variable what is is like we are cascading the value of a variable what does it mean is okay see I am saving this one more, cascading variables. Okay, I will show you. Okay, now uh, just okay. So try it. Observe this one; it is very easy. Okay, so in the main form, uh, you have a field called hiring manager. What is this one? It's a variable, right? Yes, no. Please agree. Accept. Yes. Yeah. So this is the field hiring underscore manager. This is the question. Okay, so keep this one. Now, take one cat item. Okay, what is the cat item you can take? Any cat item you can take. Okay, laptop one. Okay, iPhone one you can take it. Okay, so in this one, okay, you create a variable, right? And see here, I will do two things. One is first I will show negative, and second I will show positive okay or maybe i will show positive only but in two ways i will show positive okay so see i am creating the same variable here okay same variable the same value this is very much important more okay so i'm i've opened one of the catalog item okay which is attached to the order guide and i am creating the same variable question would be different but anything is fine but name should be same this is what the most important thing okay it came automatically and it should be reference field right and it's also user specific where is user table man? better we can take some other table user table user table okay right so okay now in iphone one okay uh, we also have the same thing now cascade variable we are testing it okay so first of all let me go here uncheck it okay i think we're almost clear we're done just five minutes we will see this and then we will close it yeah okay so hiring manager system administrator what I do is I will change some name okay Sandy Gadala okay this is the one and now what is the group of person is joining this and all okay okay uh, you can select it and I want that one to be placed right the iPhone, uh, iPhone iPhone related one I want it okay I want that form right so see the cascade variable is false here okay now it is false right so now I am going to the second form means I selected uh, the hiring manager, the one which we have common in two places. Okay, so this is Sandy Gadala, and remaining and all fail. I want the iPhone form also to be displayed. Okay, to validate the cascade variables. Okay, so now it came. Go to iPhone 6x. Okay, so see here, hiring manager is there, but the value is not passed. Okay, now let's say I select a user here who is not sandy gadala maybe something else is that correct is this correct ma so in the main form sandy gadala is the user but here he is the different user is that correct so we are raising a request for one person but we are raising a request iphone request for another person is that clear is that correct no 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 so we need to make sure that the values the similar values similar variable values should be copied either you can disable it don't show it or you can show and make it read only but you need to have the same variable value if it is same variable if it is same variable value should be same okay for that what you do is you take cascade variable true okay now i'm making cascade variable two. okay here it didn't copy now when I make cascade variable true, what will happen? Let's see. Where is the cascade variable? It went up. No, it went to this one. This is also not required. Mm. Cascade variable true now. So this is what we will test now. Mm. Right? So now see, try it. 
okay and just do same thing okay any user you can take uh, I will take this person okay and these and all waste not required for us anything you can select but here it is important because we need the iPhone to be displayed okay in iPhone form we have the same field with the same backend value variable value is also same backend value okay now I am passing my this user Ma Masood right now choose options okay go to the iPhone form okay and see the value the value that you are passing from first form came here also so this is what the cascading is when you say cascade variable equal to true the similar variable values will be passed to the forms let's say the same hiring manager is there in all the forms okay here also hiring manager is there here also hiring manager is there okay so everywhere if it matches if the backend value of the variable matches okay the value that you are passing from main form will also will pass to the forms is that clear ma